everyone! It's getting close up and I'm in my pyjamas because I'm going to be making Halloween treats for my Halloween party tomorrow and my dog is squeaking his ball. So all you're going to need is chocolate mousse, you can either make it or buy your own, um, some ready to roll icing, some original Oreos, some green food colouring and any little kind of glass that you want to put it in. So yeah, let's get started. What I'm going to do is open up a packet of Oreos and I'm going to use a knife to scrape the cream from in the middle. Now if you're anything like me, the cream is the favourite part, so I just save this. So yeah, what you'll do with the biscuit side of it is place it into a food bag and you could leave it, like, in fact what you could do is leave it like that and create double stuffed Oreos. That's an even better plan, let's do that. So you break off one side, oh, and it's completely mangled in my hand. That didn't go to plan. Sometimes they do that, but that's okay. If that happens, you just need to make do. The blank side in a food bag, and yeah, just keep doing that until you have quite a lot of Oreos in here. Change of plan, I'm just going to go ahead and put the ones with cream on in because I think it'll actually be quite nice, it'll be like a cookies and cream type situation. So yeah, just going to go ahead and do that. Whoa. Split in half, shove in bag. That easy. So now I have two full packets of Oreos in a food bag. I'm going to tie it up tightly. Oh, that's the food colouring falling on the floor, don't worry, it's not open. And I'm just getting out all the air and then I'm going to bash it with a rolling pin. So, this is actually so satisfying by the way. You'll enjoy doing this. So that's pretty broken up. Any bits that aren't, you can just use your hands really. But, um, yeah. So we want this to act as soil as I said. Now I'm just going to take a spoon. And I'm going to put it into the bag and get some Oreo out. You could pour it, but my bag burst, so I'm not going to in case it goes everywhere. And you just fill it up, maybe about a quarter of the way. And then you add some mousse. I'll get another spoon for that, actually. And I'm just going to... Put a spoonful in like that until it's kind of covered. So that's not a spoonful, that's several spoonfuls. About three quarters of a tub. And then I'm going to go in with a little more of the Oreos, just across the top. And then we'll go in with a little more mousse just to finish off the tub. So ideally you're using a tub of mousse per tumbler. And that'll sort of do like in the middle like that. Doesn't need to be a absolutely beautiful dessert. It's just going to taste really nice. So it's little soil and some chocolate mousse and it's just going to taste amazing. And next we're going to take some fondant icing and we're going to make either skeleton or zombie hands. I feel like we're going to make zombie hands. If you want to make skeleton hands of the exact same method but you don't have to use the food colouring. I'm going to go ahead and use zombie hands. Don't know how well this is going to go because I'm not the best at making fondant things. So yeah, we're just going to get some food colouring. I have Dr. Oatker green food gel. You can use whatever you fancy. And I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit. Put some green food colouring in the centre. Not too much, otherwise it'll go everywhere. Already does anyway. And then you fold it and you just sort of knead it. And the green starts to come through, as you can see. And your hands end up all green and gross. But it's worth it if it tastes nice keyword here being F. So now that it's green and I'm quite happy with that, I'm just going to take off a bit because this will probably be a bit because this will probably be a big enough part for all three classes. So I'm just rolling it quite thin, like a little sausage, and this will give the arm effect. 
and then we're going to like smudge in the hands like a little sphere on top and we're going to stick it in and that looks nothing like a hand <laughs> but we're going to use some cocktail sticks to like give detail of the fingers. Got a cocktail stick here and I'm just going to go ahead and make some finger lines. Whether this works or not is a completely different matter, but at least it'll taste nice. That looks absolute crap. <laughs> yes, that doesn't look particularly appetising. But, you know, it'll taste good, so yeah, that is the first treat. You could say trick. <laughs> that is what the finished item looks like. It doesn't look as well as I wanted it to, but it'll taste nice. It's Oreos, it's chocolate and it's fondant icing, so why wouldn't it be nice? Yeah! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with another Halloween themed video and there'll be more treats videos to come through. Hopefully they'll work out better than this one. Bye! Yeah.